know I got the receipts, girl. You know I got the receipts. So back in April and May of 2021, there was a man by the name of Kent Allen that sued Cardi B and Snapchat, claiming to be the long lost brother of Cardi B and that he spent time with her as a youth in New York and they both came up with the idea of Snapchat. The complaint reads, at the age of seven, I spent some time in New York with my father and also my birth sister, whose name is Becca Lee's Almazar Cardi B. During my time with her, we had a very close relationship and spent a lot of time together. During this course of time is when I first started developing artists in the course of my life. She was a loving and caring sister. One thing about her that drew my attention is her passion for music and the ambition that you don't see in many kids that was our age. As her brother, we did chat about her becoming an entertainer. I explained to her that she needed to learn the basics first, then expand from there. That's when the training first started between me and her. As a student at the time, she was very attentive, and as I gave her tips, she wrote it down. Not many people know this about her, but she loves to learn new things. One tool I provided her that I don't see in much in stores is rhyme books. At the time, I already had some rhyme books and I purchased several for her to learn and practice. The thing about her is she's a workaholic, so she practiced continually for hours at a time to the point I had to stop her to do other things. As kids, we would venture outside, and she always would wear either a hat or sunglasses. Of course, this is to block the sun, as in New York, especially in the summer, it gets really hot outside. My time with her was short, which was for about a year in length. As I do with all my artists that I develop, I did come up with a name for which was perfect, which was Snapchat. The reason for this name is because at the time, one hit word was chat. And at the current time amongst friends, we would send each snap of pictures to each other. Kind of like quick pictures we could send. Recently, I've been trying to get in reach with her as Snapchat is worth billions in monetary value. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to reach her. Due to suffering multiple concussions from playing football, I ended up having to play basketball as a kid, focusing on college and working two jobs right after high school, also formed another whole set of friends during this time. Since meeting many of them when we was kids throughout the years, my memory became very faded, partly due to my mother moving me to different locations growing up. Once I got older, during high school, my mother became very ill, so I had to work to help with bills. 
After high school, her status was the same, so I had to work two jobs at times. Later on, at the age of 30, my mother passed away, which if I was compensated for my ideas, I could have covered her medical costs. Around the age of 26, I started attending college and was able to finish with a bachelor's in business and also an MBA degree. I graduated with a 3.5 GPA. I did suffer from a loss of memory due to multiple concussions from playing football. So I ended up having to play basketball as a kid, focusing on college and working two jobs right after high school. Also formed another whole set of friends. My memory of certain things in my childhood was forgotten, which is why when I made this contract with these people, I don't look for anyone to face any form of incarceration due to these different incidents. I only look to be compensated and also given credit for my ideas. Each artist is still special to me and unique in their own way. Also, just looking to have my personal life back as these individuals have businesses in the different areas I stayed and also visited. With the proceeds, I plan on opening different businesses to employ people and look to display being socially responsible. These businesses, I do have the domain for which I will provide if needed. Lastly, some of the artists do look to me for guidance with their future businesses and also discover problems to help them grasp a competitive advantage. I've attached this on the next page. Now, he does not have any injuries, he's saying. He did not suffer any physical injuries, but he does want relief in the amount of $51 million because he believes that his personal relationship with Cardi B should be taken into consideration because they created Snapchat when they were children. The court dismissed this lawsuit and also barred Kent from making any more frivolous claims against Cardi B because there were two back-to-back. Court said that is enough. You are not allowed to make any more frivolous lawsuits against Cardi B. So please comment below and let me know what you think about this case. In my opinion, this is someone with a mental illness. They are suffering clearly from a mental illness. This is a mental situation. I am not sure if just because you put the word Snapchat in a message or Snapchat, you had a conversation about a chat and a snap. And then someone comes up with a company such as Snapchat that you can sue for that. And what do you make of the allegations that this is Cardi B's brother, that this is her birth brother? He said he is her birth brother. I don't know if this is a long lost sibling. Has Cardi B ever claimed someone by the name of Kent Allen? In any event, this was not mentioned in the press. This was just something that I found during research. I said, oh my goodness, these celebrities are sued left and right, frivolous lawsuits. And if this is ever a frivolous lawsuit, if I've ever seen one, this is exactly an example example of a frivolous lawsuit. So as always, I'm anxious to hear from you. Please let me know your thoughts. Drop it below. Be sure to like this video, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.